Hey guys, happy whatever day it is. Today I am going to be sorting out whatever is inside this caboodle box. Um, I know for a fact there are a lot of shoes in there, mixed accessories and clothing. She is one heavy mama, like really. Also, I have my protective tabletop on. Life hack, if you buy an Ikea table that comes with a cardboard cover, don't throw it away. Save it for whenever you're crafting because it is automatic table protection. Yeah. And um, since I don't know what's in here, chances are it can make a pretty big mess and scratch up my table, which is why I had to replace it to begin with. So let's get down to sorting. So I'm just gonna move it to the side for a sec and grab some craft bags that I picked up. I accidentally bought some that were too big. I intended to film this yesterday, but the store closed once I realized at home that they were the wrong size. So these would be fantastic for doll boots or t-shirts and stuff if you wanna sort that way. But I picked up these smaller bags, which are 5.7 by 6.9 centimeters. And unfortunately I recycled with the uh, blue box pickup yesterday. So I don't know how big these are, but they're bigger. So if this is like five point seven. I'm going to go with bigger <laughs> for these ones. So this size here is perfect for sets of doll shoes. And that's what I'm going to be putting in here. Anything that's bigger, like maybe a Barbie boot or rainbow high shoes, if they're too chunky for the small bags, will go in here along with bigger clothing items. Or if I find multiples of the same type of shoe, because I know that I have some, then I'll put them in here. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to be selling all of my doll shoes that I don't plan on keeping. We're saving all of our spare cash that we get from making sales or anytime we bring home any change or birthday money because I'm going to take my kids to Disney. So uh, yeah, be on the lookout for that. I might be posting these on my Instagram or I'll just sell them locally. I don't know. But sometimes people like to buy things if they find thrifted dolls that happen to be missing one accessory or the shoes or if they lose one. So I mean, who knows if this is going to be helpful or not. Regardless, I'm downsizing and sorting. And for me, that's exciting. So it's time to open up the box and see what we're working with. And also probably change the camera angle because chances are you saw none of that. That should be better. Also off to the side, you'll notice I have some baskets and it will be for separating anything that's currently missing until I need to find its missing piece. Hopefully that makes sense. <sighs> Let us all take a collective breath and prepare for the mess that is within this box. Ba -bum. Hey, it doesn't look so bad, does it? <laughs> okay, uh, if you're familiar with caboodles, then you'll know there are multiple layers of chaos that we're about to be privy to. So that's exciting. Hey, it's me. Hi, Jen. How's it going? Oh, you guys can't even see that. So, um, yeah. We got a lot going on. <laughs> I'm gonna move these bags out of the way. It looks like the top layer has various doll clothes for different brands. Some things are handmade, some things are old, some things are new. I'm not familiar with all of them, but uh, me and my kids have been shoving stuff in here for a while, so we have some major sorting to do. We got some mini brands in here, doll accessories, Barbie stuff, lots. And that's it for the top level. Not too bad. If I was a smart person, I would start sorting up here, but I really need to see what I'm working with first. And I had planned on sorting shoes. You gotta have like a to-do list, you know? <laughs> Otherwise things will be a little bit more overwhelming. So let's just throw those over there and uh, continue on our mission. By the way, I keep tipping my head up and down to look and maybe my voice is coming in and out. Oh, I spy a midge's magnetic belly. Do you guys see that? Boom, we got a pregnancy belly right here. That's important. We gotta find midge and give her back her stomach. I'm also gonna have to search for her baby. We've got more clothes, more clothes. You know what? Maybe we should use a basket. That's smart. Then we don't have lack of table space. So I'm gonna throw all the clothes I find in here. There we go. So there's our clothes so far. Oh, that's a my scene jacket. Clothing, 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 clothing. Those look like they're all handbags and accessories. Okay. Clothes. Oh no, we might need two baskets. Oh my. Man, caboodles can hold a lot. I've been wondering where all of these clothes are. Oh my gosh. Gotta love it when your kids are like, there's nothing to use. I'm bored. I don't know where my stuff is. Oh my gosh. I need new things. No, you don't. Clean and find where you put your stuff. Am I right? Like, really? Okay, well, there goes my plan of sorting everything into multiple baskets. Looks like the baskets are only for clothing, guys. Okay, oh, we lost a shoe. That's okay. That's what baskets are for. Shoving stuff in until a later date and then probably misplacing it or tucking it away for the future. And then of course, not finding it again. Um, I think that may be all. Okay, there. 
Our clothes are officially sorted, except not. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put Midge's belly up there so I don't lose it. Get these out of the way. I'm going to probably readjust the camera so that we can see down here. Open some bags, move the microphone so that you can actually hear me, and we can get to work. But first, we need a montage. Yeah, that's not a montage. <laughs> that was awful. Ooh. All right, so here's what we're working with for shoes. It's kind of dark in there. Okay, so inside my caboodle, I easily have at least 50 pairs of shoes, probably more. And instead of sifting through, I'm gonna dump them all out and start sorting them by color because it'll be much easier to find the pairs. It seems like a good plan. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then we'll go in for a better look, okay? Because obviously everyone wants to watch me differentiate between heels. <laughs> Who wouldn't? The sad thing is, this is not even all my shoes. Well, they're not my shoes. <laughs> no, well, I mean, of course they're not my shoes, but you know what I mean. Hey, look how smart I am. Now that I did that, I can shove everything back in the caboodle. Look at us being so genius, getting a basket back. Oh no, it's already almost full. That was just one basket. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, we've got one back. Can I fit more? How much clothes can fit in a caboodle base? It's all about that base, you know? Hey, we got two. Hold on, we might be able to do this. Can she do it? Oh my gosh, I did. Okay. <laughs> it's stuck on my finger. Okay, now pull that over. Yes, 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 shove it down. Yes, excellent. Gotta love it when things work out. Speaking of working. Let's get to work. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna move these bags too, so I don't accidentally use the wrong ones. Let's just move our bags out of the way. Actually, hold on. First, let me just show you the difference. So these bigger bags here are perfect, like I said, for boots, and that's what I'll be using them for. But for regular shoes, a smaller bag. All right, so like I said, the easiest way to do this is one, to never have put them all together in the first place. But of course, if you have children, that's not a thing. So the easiest way to do it is to take out the obvious matches right off the bat. And what's the first thing that catches your eye? Clearly, it's gonna be boots. I'll grab bags in a minute and I'll just set them off to the side for now. Looks like I have two of the exact same pair of boots and I'll find the remaining matches. Now this seems like a very obvious thing. You don't really need instruction on doing this and that's because it is obvious, but I mean, why mess with something that works? If you know that you've already got some work easily done for you, then just take it away from the equation, making your life so much easier, except not really, because you still have a lot of sorting to do. But clearly you've got some done and you feel like you're productive already already, right? It's the little wins. <laughs> That's what I count on. Sometimes when you're looking at a big problem or a big mess, it's easy to become overwhelmed and I find myself in that situation quite a bit. So if I can get small wins by cleaning up obvious large things that are in the way, I'm gonna do it. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely have an issue where I, as you can see, even though this one was not just me, like to clean by putting like things together to sort at a later date and then forgetting about them. Let's be real. It's kind of like a junk drawer, except I have a lot of quote unquote drawers in my home. And now it's really getting to me. And so I wanna take care of those and finally sort them, donate them, trade them, sell them, whatever. If you have things you don't need, just let it go. <laughs> so anyways, sometimes it's the most obvious things that we forget can make our lives easier by just doing them first. So like I said, I'm just picking out all the biggest things and then sort the remaining shoes by color. So it makes my life even more easy. Also, so there was a random mix of doll brands in this caboodle. So it looks like I've got some Barbie shoes here, some Creatable Worlds, I've got some Ken. There might be Bratz, Monster High, Ever After High. Some of these shoes came with dolls. Other ones were just gifted to me by my friend. She'll just send over shoes for my daughter to accessorize her dolls with. And others came in mixed bags from the thrift store. So there's a lot here. Looks like I have the biggest things for the most part, and I'm already finding that I am missing stuff. So we're gonna have a lost and found bin. Yes, I just said I have a lot of bins that I need to actually sort and not have so many junk drawer type spaces. But I mean, if I don't start making a lost and found bin, then I'm gonna lose those. And by the time I find the other thing that I was looking for, this one will be missing. So sometimes you need a rando bin, am I right? Okay, and now we sort.
Okay, so I've separated all my pinks here. I've mostly got the darker ones over here, but there are a few more I need to pop in. And I mean, at this point, I can kind of tell what goes together already. I don't necessarily have to continue to shrink down by shade, but I totally can. It makes things a lot easier. And then chances are you're gonna find exactly what you're looking for in a hurry. So now I'm just gonna start matching up the pairs and lining them up. Then I can stick them in bags. And sometimes I have shoes that are the same, but a different shade like this pair here. It's a very high pump with some straps around the ankle covered in like bumpy studs. And this one's a hot pink and this one's a translucent pink. So I'm going to find both pairs and put them together. That way, if for some reason I know someone is looking for this shoe, but in a different color, I'll already have them together and I won't have to go looking for the same style. You know, it just seems smart to me. What even are these hideous shoes? They're squishy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I like the feel of them. They're very squishy, but they are ugly. That's for sure. Oh my gosh. Okay, back to work. Wow, look at all my pink shoes all paired up. Now it's time to pop them in bags. I know, such an exciting life I lead. But hey, you're watching it, so what does that say about you? <laughs> so now I'm just gonna bag all these up and uh, just repeat the process over and over. So I have 31 pairs of pink shoes here. And some of these I know have multiple color variations of the shoe. So I'm gonna pop those ones off to the side if I think for sure that it would be one that has other color options available. That way I don't have to go looking for them after. And the rest I'm just gonna stick inside one of the bins for now. But look how much neater it is. Now I know if I want a certain style of shoe, whether I was trading these, donating them, them, selling them. If somebody was looking for a specific one, like I'm looking for pink heels in this color with studs, I'd be like, okay, I've got like four of those. Are any of these them? Or even if you're just organizing for yourself, for your own doll collection, and you plan on putting all of these inside of a big giant binder and then inside like card holders, because the smaller shoes will fit. You would know exactly what page essentially to go to for your pink stuff. And you'd be able to find all of it. No problem. So I'm just going to stick these ones inside of this bin for now. These, I know for sure, actually have duplicates. I'm gonna put them together in a bigger bag and I'm gonna need more bags anyways because I forgot to put the boots away. So there we go, two of the same kind of shoe for now. Bam, just like that. And then of course these larger ones are perfect for the boots. Now there are certain ones that I'm sorting to make sure I keep for myself, but others I will be getting rid of. So these boots here are definitely a for me thing. And so I'm gonna keep them off to the side. And that way I don't have to live with any regrets. Now these ones here are actually really cool. They're just a big pink boot, but look how easy they are to open and close. Super simple. You can easily get this on your doll. They're very, very 2000s plastic though, <laughs> but I'm okay with that because they're fun to open and close. So time to bag. And there we go. The boots have all been bagged. Excellent. And now we're gonna continue sorting. Next up, red. we're making guys and I think I'm gonna do orange next because I mean they're very brightly colored and eye-catching and I can see that there aren't too many so I'm just gonna go ahead and take those out and while I'm at it I think I'm gonna grab these brown tan and gold because I mean they're kind of in the same color family as the orange wouldn't you say you know what let's just keep going we'll grab the yellows too because there's like two pairs of those there we go Whoop. And by now, you know the drill. I'm just gonna sort them out, make sure they match up, put them in baggies. Anything I wanna keep for myself, I'm gonna make sure to put to the side. And the rest will go in the basket unless I discover that they have their own match or variations in color, of course. Now let's go with green. I think there are like three or four pairs here. 
All right, look how easy it is now that everything's all sorted. Okay, so it looks like we've only got purple, blue, and black, le oh, no, and white, okay. Purple, blue, black, and white left. We're pretty much down to four shades. So I'm just gonna sort them all out now. That way I can easily pop them in bags. This looks like we're missing a boot. This is Creatable World. Got some silver here. Oh, those already match, excellent. That matches. Da, 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 da. That matches. Wow, look how easy this is now. Like I'm finding things no problem because everything's all sorted. That goes together, that goes together. And this sad little shoe is missing a mate. And for the white shoes, we've got some Crocs here, some Skipper shoes. Excellent, excellent. We were looking for those. Got a pair of classic heels and some soccer shoes and Snapstar shoes. All right, look at this. Wow. Oh, I forgot some pink ones. They were hidden. We'll pop those in bags too. And I have a broken shoe here. Um, I haven't put it away yet because it's missing the ballerina sole, but I actually really like these. And once they're on the legs, it doesn't look like they're broken. So I might either A, try to fix it or B, just keep it or cut off the lace up section and keep the ballerina shoe. So for now, I'm going to pop them in my lost and found bin and make that decision at a later date because it could be good for customizing. As for now, found another pair of boots. So I will put those in bags too. And I'll bag these puppies up. We're making progress. I feel good. Do you guys feel good? You should feel good, or at least for me. <laughs> it feels like we're accomplishing something, you know? Okay, now I'm gonna move on to black shoes because I know for a fact that I've got matches in here for other sets that I've left out. I'm not positive about the red ones, which is why I left them out in case you were wondering, um, but I know for certain that I've got duplicate in black to match some of these pink ones and even the silver. So I need to figure that out and then I can compare some to the red ones and see. I also feel as though I've put some away that have matches. So I'm probably gonna have to dig those out. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take all the purple ones while I'm at it because I'm right here. And then there will only be blue left. So it'll be much easier to sort those once I'm done with the black shoes. I found a clear shoe, look at that, on its own. So now once I'm done doing the black shoes, I can easily move on to the next color. All right, so I officially ran out of small bags and they came in a pack of 72. So apparently I have quite a bit of uh, doll shoes here. And like I said, this is not all of our doll shoes. Quite a bit are still in my daughter's room. I've got some kicking around this studio. And then of course we have all the shoes that are on my doll's feet. So, wow. <laughs> I've got another pack of bags here and I'm just gonna continue on my merry way. Okay, so I'm just gonna put all these shoes away for now and I'll double check those after to make sure none of them are matches that need to be brought together as one. And we will move on to purple. All right, these two match and looks like we need more of the medium sized bags now. Finally, we have blue. Oh my God, I feel so good right now. I know this seems maybe a little ridiculous, but when you've been wanting to clean things and felt like you were just in a slump or that you've been putting things off too long and it makes you feel lazy, like you're not doing even something as simple as sorting a little thing, it could really put you in a down mood. Let's be real. Everybody has those times when they feel depressed and they don't wanna do anything or if life is getting chaotic and you're like, oh, I could do the dishes later or you know, literally, anything, all these mismatched socks. And then you beat yourself up about it because you're like, wow, I didn't do anything today. All I did was sit here and like be upset with the world or your emotions or whatever had gotten you down. And it's sometimes hard to get out of that. And I find myself in that place quite a bit. And then something super simple that would have only taken maybe an hour, like sorting these doll shoes for me and my daughter and for getting rid of or trading or whatever it is, downsizing, like it adds up and it makes you feel ridiculous. 
ridiculous. Like you couldn't even finish one small task. And when things like that are in your control, but you put them off for so long, it can make you feel a little poopy. Um, so just accomplishing this and sorting these out has <laughs> made me feel good. It makes me feel better. It's like one thing you can scratch off your list. And I'm a big supporter of to-do lists, uh, especially having ADHD um, and just feeling a lot of the time that I look back on the day and I'm like, what did I accomplish today? I'll literally put things on my list that are super easy just so that I feel like I'm making progress because you can look on wins and be like, oh, this feels good. I want something else off this list. I want it to be shorter and shorter and shorter. Um, but sometimes the things that are on those lists or like your goals for the week or the day, sometimes they're pretty big. It might be like to replace, you know, the ceiling fan and you just don't want to get it started or it's a lot longer than something simple. And so it makes you feel like you didn't accomplish anything. And I think it's important to put super simple things on your list because it fills up your cup, you know, your personal cup of your self-happiness, your self-worth. You don't feel lazy like you failed in the day, like you didn't get anything done. So put brushing your teeth on there, <laughs> put doing the dishes on there, put sorting your bookshelf on there, put donating all the clothes that don't fit on there. You're going to be doing those things eventually. Put them on there, but mix them in with super simple tasks because it helps you to keep on this positive, I'm on a roll sort of vibe, you know? And so that's why I'm doing this today. And even though I'm not done, it feels good. It feels really, really good to have sorted just even the couple colors that I did. It's gonna definitely make it so much easier when I'm trying to put together all the Barbie dolls or other dolls that we do have and finding their missing pieces. Like this is a great way to make sure you have everything before donating it. Who else gets super annoyed when they go to the thrift store and like they're selling things that are broken or missing pieces and you're like, why did they even bother donating it? You know? <laughs> so that's why this feels good to me. Oh, do we have a spare shoe here? Yeah, got another spare shoe. Wait a minute, I saw this one earlier. I wonder if some got stuck in the clothing? Oh. Okay, so there's all my blue shoes. I have a few still in this lost and found bucket. So as I find more, I'll be putting them in here. And then eventually I'll be sorting all of our other doll brands shoes. Cause of course I've got rainbow high and everything, but I definitely remember seeing two of these. So I wonder if one of them is stuck in the caboodle box <laughs> in amongst the clothing. So I'm gonna take a final check to make sure nothing else is missing. And then I'll be able to put these ones away and search for these another day. So let's just take a look. So what's on the top level? Nothing. I also am really excited to see how many bags I ended up with <laughs> or how many shoes in general. But you know what? I think I'm gonna leave the clothes. Did I just say this? I don't know. I'm gonna sort the clothes another day and all the accessories because I want anything that's similar of those to be together, of course, and things that I don't plan on keeping. But for now, I just wanna see if there's any more shoes in here, but I need a basket because we know there's a lot of clothes. Not that one is gonna do it because <laughs> before they took up three, but oh well, let's see. Oh, I'm dropping stuff. Any more shoes? Oh, ah, see, I told you there was one. I found one, I found one. I'm not feeling anything else. Okay, that's good enough for me. I knew I had one more of that one because I remember putting them both in there. So I'm gonna shove all of that back in. Ooh, take that one out of the lost and found. And there you go. Put it all back together. And bag up this last pair. I knew I had two of those. Awesome. Okay, so I know for a fact I only have one pair of these, so I can put those back in. That's gonna go over there. And I believe there are two of this pair right here. So, oh, they're so similar, but they're not the same. Okay, cool. Those two are though. So now I'm just gonna finish putting together any matches that are currently out on the table and then go through the bags one more time all in the basket. That way I can have all the matches together. And eventually I'll be sticking these in a binder. So I'll be able to show you what that looks like and I'm probably gonna have those sorted by color as well. These are little Kelly shoes. I gotta find her body. Oh, I see her body. She's in a bag to be sorted next to me. So I'll just, I'll put those in there for now. So I think these ones have a match. These ones have a match. Those have a match. Those do not. So these ones all have duplicates. Now I gotta go through these one last time, put anything that is similar together, and then I'll be able to see how many bags I ended up with. Ooh, don't be afraid to recognize that you missed something. Mistakes are a part of life. Like I guarantee I have a bunch in here that I've missed. And would you look at that? I was right. See? 
Just, you gotta be honest with yourself, you know? Life is about honesty. I honestly think so. <laughs> I know I don't have a match for these. So these ones, I'm not gonna be able to fit together, but they are a match. These are snap stars, but whatever. I know all of these are matchless. Do those have a match? Similar, but not the same. Okay, those have a match. There we go. See, look at all the things I missed. Oh my gosh, I'm a prime example. It's like measure twice, cut once in crafting. This is just like, don't be afraid to look over and over to see what you missed. And doesn't it feel good? Like you're sorting, you're cleaning. Well, I am, but you know what I mean? Like this, this feels good. It feels like I'm having a good time. When you're cleaning or doing something for yourself that you enjoy, video games, dolls, whatever it might be, even books, when you're sorting the things you like to make it look neater and cleaner, it's gonna make it more enjoyable later when you can easily access what you're looking for. I'm a firm believer of that. So that's all I'm doing right now. Just sorting and cleaning and feeling great about it. I hope you guys have been enjoying my random video. This is the most random one, I suppose, <laughs> that I've done. You guys can't even really see from here. I wanted to zoom in so you could see better, but to be honest, you wouldn't be able to see all the sorting. So I'll definitely try to zoom in a bit for you. There we go, is that better? I don't know, hopefully. So I'm just getting all the ones that I know have zero matches out of the way because I mean, they don't have a match and I know it. Okay, so I've officially finished sorting all of the shoes that were in the caboodle, at least for now. I'm just gonna count how many pairs there are, making sure to pay attention to the duplicates that are all packaged together so I can see how many I went through today because I mean, everybody loves a good success hurrah story and then I can tell you how well I did. Hopefully you guys didn't find this super boring. I think it's really important to remind ourselves that little accomplishments are still accomplishments and that being real with yourself or anyone around you is important. It makes sense to recognize that sometimes we get overwhelmed and just shove things in a space and forget about it for a long time until it accumulates. Whether that be doll shoes and clothes like me here today or real shoes and clothes that you should be cleaning up. So this is a friendly reminder. If you have something that's been on your list and you still haven't gotten to it, don't forget to check that out and make little progression. Some is better than none. Pick something up, put it away, throw on some music. That's a really important thing to get you motivated. And just know that I am rooting for you no matter how small the task is. Just like you sat here, whether watching me sort or just listening to me blabber on about sorting and just you know being mindful of what's going on in our lives and that little steps like this can be important, I am rooting for you, okay? And that might not feel genuine or sincere because it's not a personal message to you, but I'm talking directly to you. The person who is listening to this, you are doing a good job, okay? And no matter what small thing it is you want to accomplish today, I am rooting for you. And if you manage to get something off of your list done today, no matter how small or large, tell me about it. I would be so happy to help cheer on your accomplishment because even as adults, sometimes you can just feel so overwhelmed and people recognizing that something might have been hard for you, especially if you suffer with depression and putting things off or you have ADHD and you can't concentrate. Sometimes, even though it sounds ridiculous, you want to know that somebody recognizes that something was difficult and you finally got it done. And as I said, there are a lot of things that I've been putting off. Hundreds and hundreds of things. And so I hope that me finding a positive way to deal with it and sharing that with you guys has helped you to see that you are never alone in these things and that there's a whole world and community out there of people who struggle with very similar issues, whether it be organizing, cleaning your house, or even just moving around sometimes and getting anything done. All that matters is that you are trying. And I want you to take away, if only one thing from this video, that you're not lazy when you want to do it, when your brain wants to do something and you know you should do it, but no matter what you do, you can't bring yourself to do it. It's not laziness, it's something fighting inside you. And so, a little bit of motivation and knowing that other people might be doing it at the same time as you kind of makes it feel more like a social thing. And it's not laziness, it's your brain saying that you don't need to do this or like fighting against you, but you can win. I mean, sometimes I put things off for a very long time, but you can do it. Best of luck to you today. Let's see how many bags I ended up. I've just been talking over this footage while I've been counting. So let's see how I did. All right, so before adding any of the duplicates, excluding the ones that I already had on the table, the total was 81 pairs of sorted shoes. 
after counting the duplicate bags to the side and the shoes that I plan on keeping for myself, the total is 113 pairs of shoes. That is exceptional. I'm really, really pleased with how the sorting went. And of course, I've got so many bags left over, which is perfect because like I said, I have more to sort and I'm happy with myself. I feel like I got something that I've been wanting to do forever done. And that just feels really good, even if it was a small accomplishment. And we're not gonna focus on how much was left in that caboodle because really, it's not my fault that it holds so much. And I do plan on continuing sorting things. Don't know if I'm gonna share it all with you guys because it really depends on how many times you wanna see it. But I feel like it brings people together and doesn't make us feel so alone when others out there realize we all have these issues. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video, which may or may not be sorting, but uh, I've got lots to do, as you know. So regardless, have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!